hey collective hey welcome back guys welcome back so big shout out to the entire youtube fam shout out to everyone that has booked the personal reading everyone that has donated um thank you thank you thank you guys okay we're gonna jump right into the message today let's see what is this message for the collective what is it that the collective need to know And the cards are mixed up, so I'm just going to take them upright however they flip out. I haven't went through. We got spirit guides, insight, guidance, purpose here. So somebody, um, your spirit guides are heavily with you at this time. You could be seeing feathers, um... You could be seeing birds. Could be part of like the Indian tribe or something. So I got two. Let me see. Can we get one? I'm only going to take three. What else is it that the collective needs to know here? Yeah, it's like your spirit guides are trying to um give you insight and guide you towards your purpose here. give you more clarity. I guess I should have took those too, huh? What else is it that the collective need to know? <clears throat> wow, the same. This, oh no, a different two, but one of the same ones. Okay, so we got connect, reconnect with Mother Earth. And we have remember who you are. We also have explore your creative side collective. <laughs> So for somebody, yeah, your spirit guides are guiding you to reconnect here with Earth. You could be seeing butterflies. I do see um, some of you are going through a transition in this moment. You're going through um, some sort of initiation, some sort of rebirth here. This is why you're being specifically guided in this moment, to, again, to help give you some guidance here. For some of you, you're new. This is a new journey that you're on, this spiritual journey, this spiritual evolution here. And your spirit guides want you to reconnect with Mother Earth, like plant, you know, do a garden. I don't know, feed the feed birds, feed the animals. But this is going to allow you to tap into who you really are. This is going to allow you, again, collective, to really tap into who you really are here. Okay, let's see. Why is spirit guides here? Wow, transition. What did I say? What did I say, collective? <laughs> some of you are going through some sort of initiation, some sort of transition, some sort of transformation. There's definitely a transition taking place here, collective. Yeah, it's like you have to let go and just learn to surrender to the process here. Allow the transition to occur with ease and grace. So this is what your spirit, guys, you, this is what your ancestors are trying to um, get across. Well, this is their point that they're trying to get across to you. Surrender to the process here. Somebody needed to hear this. This is for somebody. Transition supports our deep understanding of the ever changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn and let go surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and with the grace again you're going through some sort of evolution here some sort of rebirth some sort of transformation collective surrender allow the process to take place allow this to happen allow it to unfold with ease and grace and then we have romantic love here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm also channeling collective for somebody. Um, there is a romantic connection that you have or that's coming in. Spirit is saying as well, allow this to 
transition with ease and with grace. Why is reconnect with Mother Earth here? Wow, we have miracle. We have miracle. Miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible here. And we have the number 43, master number 33 here. You could be 43, 33. One of these uh, numbers could be significant here. I'm also getting July the 6th or June 7. Um, April 3rd, May 3rd could be significant here. But there's some sort of miracle that's going to take place collective with you reconnecting with Mother Earth here. Something is going to transpire. Yeah, we have magic here. Something is going to transpire once you get out and connect with Mother Earth. Wow, we have healing. What did I say? Something is going to transpire once you reconnect with Mother Earth. We have healing and we have miracle here. There's some sort of healing Wow, and we have believe. If you believe, do you believe, collective? Do you believe? There is a miracle that is going to take place in somebody's body. There is some sort of healing that is going to take place some once somebody connects back with Mother Earth. Again, this says plant, garden, harvest here. You need to do something out in nature. There Again, there's some sort of healing that's going to take place here. Healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. This information is coming to you from the divine today collective. Get out into nature. There's some sort of miracle that's literally going to take place here. All you have to do is believe. If, if there's a healing that somebody need in their body, go out into nature. There is a miracle that is going to take place that is going to manifest collective. I don't care if you have to go outside in your backyard and sit under your tree, meditate. You need to ground yourself. Go outside in the evening. Or if you can do it in the sun, go out in the sun. But I ground myself in the evening time when... You know, the sun is down. It's nice and cool out. I go out and walk barefooted, speak affirmations out into the universe. This is what somebody needs to do. If you, I don't, you may not have transportation, okay, but you can go outside. You can get out and walk barefooted around. Go out and ground yourself. Speak positive affirmations over your life. Already speaking into existence that your body is healed. You receive this miracle healing collective. It's here. You're watching the cards come out with me. And all you have to do is literally believe. This is dope. Literally, a miracle is going to take place in somebody's body here. Hold on. I want to try to get a better little view of these two. I think I'm going to use these uh, for my thumbnail. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, but you get the picture collective. Again, literally, a miracle is about to take place in somebody's body here. This is dope. Look at it. Look like your aunt, one of your ancestors right here. Somebody's grandmother, great grandmother, great, great, great grandmother. Wow. This is beautiful collective. This is this really is beautiful here. Let's see why is remember who you are here. What is this? Wow, we have universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. 
again, universal love. Yeah, you're very conscious here. You're very woke, as they say, collective. Hold on, several just fell. Yeah, you're very woke, as they say. Again, the number 44 here could be significant collective. But yeah, I see you pouring a lot of love collective into yourself. A lot of love. This allows you to send out love and light in the universe. If you're not loving on yourself, if you don't love yourself, how can you send out love? How can you send out light? How can you... uh? Send out positive energy, positive vibes, okay? So let's see. I'm going to pull from... Um, let me get three cards from this deck here. But again, collective, this is dope. There's... Don't... Let's not forget about this. I think this is the... My most exciting part of this reading here um, for somebody is this miracle healing that's going to take place in somebody's body. All you need to do is believe, collective. Get out into nature. Again, ground yourself. Speak those positive affirmations over your life, okay? Go ahead and give God thanks. Go ahead and give the universe thanks for your healing. Somebody comment that down below. I am healed. I receive. I receive this miracle healing. Ashe. Why spirit guides here? Wow, we got faded meeting for spirit guides with wills, will, wisdom, and mind. Uh, this card is all about working with your ascended masters here. And then we have faded meeting to clarify spirit guides here. This is dope collective. So there's some sort of, um, there's an angelic experience you're going to have, some sort of angelic encounter here, collective. Look at this. There's literally some sort of angelic encounter you're going to have here. Remember we saw um, romantic love too? And I said that something about the romantic love as well, it's a possibility that you could have a faded meeting here. I don't know it somebody you're meant to be with but i'm definitely channeling um this is going to be an, an angelic encounter for most people this this will be an encounter with your spirit guides with your ancestors um uh, with an ascended master here why is connect to mother earth here yeah, why is reconnect to Mother Earth? I'm also channeling for somebody collective. Um, you need to, it's a lot of medications that somebody owns. You need to stop taking the medications. You need to um, look into natural herbal remedies, things like that, for instance. Um, so my mom is, let me see. My mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> My mother is 61 years old. She'll be 62 years old, but she's very healthy. Um, she's about 5'8", maybe 130 pounds, okay? So she's very healthy. She still looks like she's about 40, okay? But recently, she had to go um, to the doctor, and they put her on blood pressure medication. Her blood pressure was too high, okay? So, she started taking the blood pressure medication for a couple weeks. So, one of the side effects, if anybody is on this, you know it gives you a cough. So, my instincts in instantly kicked in. I'm like, oh no. So, I made my mom stop taking the blood pressure medication. And I purchased her uh, beet root capsules. Okay? So, amazing results amazing results collective the blood pressure is down she's not on the blood pressure medication okay um she don't have the side effects from the blood pressure medication again this this is again it's like 
Everything that you need to heal your body collective is here on earth. Plant, garden, harvest. Everything you need is connected to the mother, mother earth to heal your body. And for somebody, this is all you all you're gonna have to do is go out and ground yourself. Walk barefooted out in nature, outside somewhere. That's all you're gonna have to do. There's some sort of energetic exchange that's going to take place and it's going to heal you energetically. That's how it's going to enter your body. Yeah, look at this. We have setting your course and then we have summer and winter time. So for somebody between now and winter time, something significant here is going to take place. Something significant is going to take place with now between now and winter time for somebody. You've already set it your course. You've already done the work, the rainbow here. You've already planned. You've already looked ahead. You already mapped out something here. Or something is already mapped out for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen between summer and winter time. That's between now and December. Maybe now and January. I'm definitely channeling um, maybe between now and, um, now and December. For somebody, period. And then I'm just looking this one up here. Um. Wow, yeah, on the bottom of the deck here, we have, look, Archangel Raphael here. The number eight could be significant. Archangel Raphael uh, share his healing and uplifting light. Wow, somebody is literally getting some sort of uh, healing in their body here. It says, this beautiful being carries the energies of love, family, miracles, healing, and blessed journeys. He can share all these intentions and experiences with you and more. All Of all the archangels, Raphael most often comes in disguise of a human. This card can indicate that help for others may be attending you now. It also portends a time of great achievement in your personal life. And Raphael is opening the door. Blessings abound with this card. There may be a renewal of a lost dream, a reu reuniting of a family member, or a healing. Perhaps of a physical condition or of a broken heart. Even if these conditions have been hanging on for a while now, is the time when you can really break through. Let Raphael be your partner in this process, and you'll soon see why they call him the miracle worker. <coughs> oh, I got a cough. Hold on. I mean, I got to drink my drink some, some, you know, just some juice. Hold on. Wow. This is dope. This is dope, Collective. Spirit is being very, very clear today. There is literally some sort of healing that is about to take place in somebody's body. So, remember we got this faded meeting. That's who this faded meeting with, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is coming to heal somebody. What did I say? Get out in nature, ground yourself. This healing is going to take place between now and winter. Before winter is over, Somebody's body is going to be healed. Somebody's body is going to be healed between now and winter time. This is dope. This is beautiful. Y'all watching the cards come out with me. What is this remember who you are? This one want to come out. I'm going to wait. I'm going to let one come out. I need to come all the way out, Holy Spirit. Wise, remember who you are here. We got will, wisdom, and mind. What did I say? You're working with your ascended masters. 
You're working with Ascendant Masters here, Collective. Your Ascendant Masters, hold on. Let, actually, let me pull this up. Hold on, Collective. Because I want to make sure I come with the real deal. I want to spill the beans for y'all, for real. Okay. So, this card, Collective, <clears throat> brings and a time of enormous power, balance, and expression. Power and will, love and wisdom, intellect and mind. Wow. You are working intimately with the Ascendant Masters, even if you are not conscious of it. With the Ascendant Masters who are linked to these energies. Again, these are the energies that are linked with these ascended masters power and will love and wisdom intellect and mind with the participation of the masters you can raise your focus to a higher power and purpose you can combine the fire of creativity with the water of receptivity in order to make your contribution to the world again this is about remembering who you are and we have universal love here you're definitely somebody, you're already sending out a lot of love, a lot of light. You've done your shadow work. You are a light worker here, whoever this is. I'm talking to a light worker. It says, you are likely to find yourself in a significant position of authority and influence at this time. So you could be on a public platform, collective, or there could be an opportunity coming here that's going to place you on a public platform or in a leadership role or just some sort of, again, significant um, position of authority here. It is likely to be a phase of great, act great activity, but you can handle it. With these powers in play, you're able to discipline yourself to bring together the mediation, creativity, rest, and action required. Take advantage of this time and use these powers well. They are nothing less than the divine forces moving through you so that you can manifest their power into the world. This is dope. It was just 2222 two, two, two on the phone collective. This is dope. Again, you're working with, closely with Ascendant Masters here, whether you know it or not. You are a, an uh, angelic being as well, collective. You're a light worker. This is why you have this miracle healing that is coming to your body. Wow. I'm also, for somebody, your body heals itself. Somebody's body has been like healing itself is what I'm hearing. Again, this is why you need to tap back into your culture, your beliefs. Remember who you are, collective. And also, for somebody, remember what that, what I said. There is something in nature that will heal every issue that you have in your body. Somebody needs to get off the medications, period. You need to do your research. Get on Google. Okay? Because, again, it's 2022. Stop waiting for information to come to you. Even if, especially, I'm talking to um, my older crowd, like... 40 and up, maybe even 50 and up, okay? And I'm not meaning to come off rude or disrespectful because I definitely respect my elders. <clears throat> Do your own research. Do your own research. Stop believing everything that these doctors are, are telling you. They telling you what they know or what they learned, okay? And sometimes you have to question what they know and what they learned. You know what I'm saying? Like, where did they attend school? Who taught them? You know, so... You have to always ask questions, collective. Don't always believe everything that the doctor tell you. Spirit is saying today that God can heal you. There are things in, in that Mother Earth that God has created that will heal every issue hum humans have ever had. So we are, I talked about Dr. Sebi in, a, in another video here. I'm also channeling... Um, I, forget, I can't think of the name of the card. Is it Healing Mother or something like that? But do your research. This is for somebody. All you have to do is go on Google. Whatever issue you have, what is the natural 
a natural supplement to cure whatever go type it in it'll pop it up populate it for you go and purchase that and start taking that okay or talk to people ask around do your research again collective um so i hope this message resonated with somebody if it did please leave a thumbs up okay if you would like to donate to the channel or if you would like to book a personal reading collective the information is in the description below thank you guys